Hi, it's Amy with Mama Bear Blue, and today's video is a creative collaboration with some of my creative friends in Jamie and Zeb Ray's creative business group. Thanks to Jamie and Zeb for including us in your playlist. One of my favorite things to do is to take old discarded furniture and thrift store finds and give them a second chance by giving them a little makeover, and it usually involves a lot of color. I love creating and what I love even more is being able to share that passion and talent with other people, especially my family. My mom recently has been cleaning out her barn and finding some real treasures. In fact, today's video is one of those projects. My mom and I will be working together to transform one of her farmhouse tables. This table was in good shape structurally. It just needed a sanding and a good cleaning. So mom got started using the electric sander on the top of the table. The body of the table did not need sanded. She sanded it once with 100 grit sandpaper and then again with 220 grit. I am finally home at After sanding, we wiped down the entire piece to remove any of the sanding dust. Instead of using a traditional stain on the top, we decided to use DIY Paint's weathered wood color. We watered it down, two parts water to one part paint, brushed it on, and gently wiped it off. DIY Paint is so heavily pigmented, you can easily use it as a stain as well as a paint. In the room where mom planned to use this farmhouse table, she had a fun, colorful rug. From those colors, she chose a warm orange from DIY Paint called Summer Crush. Throughout this entire project, we used one of my favorite brushes, the Paint Pixie Little D. DIY paint is a heavily pigmented clay-based paint. No VOCs, all natural ingredients. We only painted one coat on the base because we knew we were going to heavily distress it anyway. And even with just one coat of DIY paint, you can see that it gives great coverage. We lightly sanded the top and heavily sanded the bottom because we wanted a distressed look. We did a quick wipe down of the entire table with a dry cloth. It was then time to apply the wax. We decided to use DIY's clear wax. We applied it with a brush. We did this to the base only. The wax will bring back the original beautiful color of the paint. After applying, wait 24 hours, then buff with a dry soft cloth. Don't worry about any uneven spots as the wax dries. The colors will level out. We sealed the top with two coats of DIY Paints Big Top. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home. To you. When I'm painting a tabletop with a second coat of paint or the seal coat, I try to use long, even strokes. And the project was complete. We loved the look of this weathered wood top paired with the fun warm orange color of Summer Crush. Mom and I had so much fun completing this project that we decided to make it a weekly event. We have started doing a Facebook Live on Mondays called 
Mondays with Mom, 1 p.m. Eastern on the Mama Bear Blue Facebook page. Each week we'll feature a new DIY, craft, or furniture upcycle. If you'd like to join us, be sure to like and follow the Mama Bear Blue Facebook page. To purchase the DIY paint and paint pixie brushes used in today's video, visit your local stockist or my website, mamabearblue.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos uploading. Thanks for watching.